amazing. All right. Let's do another one. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait. We can show the back. You worried about this picture? Oh, <laughs> my God. That's very extreme. He's got some fucking shit growing on it. <laughs> There's yeah. something growing on it. Up. Oh. Yeah, what's up with that? There we go. That's my, that, that's my bad. <laughs> we're going to start with the cover because we were told not to. <laughs> you know what? I think this is what I think we do. Just give him a flash. Can we? No, I'm going to show it upside down. All right. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Put like something. I mean, an asshole upside down is the same way as it is right side up, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, so we had a problem with this cover. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was actually a picture of a sea urchin. <laughs> an upside down sea urchin, actually. So this, this, this record was actually, um, it was an answer to all the failure and ignominy, that's a good word there, of Slow Deep and Hard. So when we released Slow Deep and Hard, <laughs> to the full. Should we go listen to this now? What's the background? That's rock background, yeah. There ain't no rules. Anyhow. When So Deep and Hard was released, we did one tour in the States. Fire Hasn't Exploited, the one I told you about. And then we got an offer to go to Europe with Pungent Stench. Mm. Guys, you guys know you were Pungent Stench? No, I'm not, actually. Oh, they were an Austrian band and they lived up to their name. <laughs> Could stand up their leather pants two weeks into the tour, you know? Oh. Uh, but they were great guys. They were nice guys. And um, at the time, I can't show this side. <laughs> We're free. Uh, We're free. They can't control us. I mean, it doesn't look like anything to me, man. It's it yeah, looks why like is some it, fun. Why fun is the Saturday. Slow Deep and Hard cover okay? And that's not. And uh, uh, so when we released Slow Deep and Hard, Peter did a bunch of press, right? And, you know, Peter being the sarcastic, you know, asshole he is. <laughs> so he do some German press, and he, he decided to make. He decided to make a, like a Beatles. Pun. You know when John Lennon said, you know, the Beatles are even bigger than Jesus Christ now? Well, he said to the German press at the time, well, the Beatles are even bigger than Adolf Hitler. Hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, right, the typo negative is even oh, bigger than Adolf Didn't go over well. Yeah. He was making a joke, didn't go over well at all. <laughs> so when we went to Europe, we had like, I don't know, maybe uh, 20, 25 shows planned. Most of them in Germany were canceled. <laughs> there was bomb threats to some of the venues. All this crazy stuff happened because of this one stupid comment. And so this record was an answer to that. We tried to we like replicate everything that went down in Europe. There's an actual bomb threat where they, yeah. uh, where they, where they escort everybody out of the, um, out of the venue. It was Stuttgart. Oh, and then let everybody so back so in. Lord. <laughs> So that's, that's, this, answer, this album was an answer to that, but it was actually not even done, it was not even live. This album was done in Brooklyn at Systems 2, not so live from Coney Allen. So it was a fake live album. And we started it with um, the audience chanting, you suck. Yep. Which was Peter's idea right from the start. It's great. It's like, Peter, it's you know, you're gonna start this? This is gonna follow us for the rest of our lives. He goes, Ugh, whatever. So for the rest, rest of our careers, oh, whatever. Every, every time we went on stage, we had thousands of people chanting, you suck. That's great. He knew he needed a reaction one way or another. Mm -hmm. It works. Then but it know. is not live. It is not. It's not. We know it that. never was live. Well, a lot of people slick it with. Oh, it really? Is. Wow. Yeah, what was the perception like of that at the time? Like, Excuse me? What was the perception like that at the, of that at the time? It really wasn't much. It was not. <laughs> Nobody, everybody ignored it. <laughs> Nobody thought anything the of it. The lack right? of. There was like people in the neighborhood that would dug it, you know. Um, the cover was like the only thing that really got any kind of like... Whose idea was the cover? And the oh, wait, right, the, the cover, the cover, all right, so the cover, we were recording this at the time, and Peter had this idea of uh, having the photographer take a picture of his anus for the cover, because it's called Origin of the Fetus, Feces. Mm -hmm. And I just remember him going behind the, um, the um, sound wall for the drums and 
forcing the photographer to take the picture. <laughs> and the photographer saying, I'll do it as long as you don't give me any credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, you know, was that I came back. This is, I think, is in Staten Island. See the Prospect Park in Staten Island? Yeah, where is that? Huh? That's not Marine Park? It's not. No. It was either Prospect Park or Staten Island. I think it's Staten Island. I love this because uh, Josh, like, he's got this weird thing with his legs. It looks like he's got ram hoofs. <laughs> it's like, what happened to your knees, man? Yeah, they're, they're very odd pants as well. You got Sal in the oh, back yeah. there like Ringo? <laughs> That's a great shot. <laughs> You, you take these shots at the time, you don't think they're going to be like, you know, iconic. It's an iconic shot. It's a good shot. It's Is that a 12 Absolutely string? iconic. Mm -hmm. Is that a 12 string? <laughs> Looks like it. We don't have this, I don't even remember where this was taken. No idea. Creek? I don't know. I don't know what, what about this? Whose idea is this? This didn't come to later. Yeah. Did you express yourself? I believe, was this on this record? I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. It was. I think it was, yeah. All right, yeah. You know, because uh, self-deprecation to suicide was always a big thing, type of. You know, Pete always said, you know, no matter how much money I get, no matter how famous I get, no matter how many women I get, I still look in the mirror and see a dick. <laughs> yeah. It's hard. Is, is that line of like humor and... No, it really was you telling the truth. Yeah. It, uh, you know, I, it was absolutely being honest. In, in, the whole, in the whole discography, that's kind of the constant walking line is like self-deprecative humor and like dark, true darkness. Yeah. Is that kind of, was that discussed amongst you guys or is that just kind of how he, that's just it's how just the, way, just the, the way, way it was. Discussed at every meal. You know, it was discussed <laughs> everywhere we went. It was nothing but disgust. <laughs> Self-disgust everywhere we went. Uh, this was a real problem, you know, these are like, <laughs> yeah. Definitely mentally unbalanced individuals. Yeah. And, uh, put in a situation where you're in close quarters and on, you know, rubber tires for six weeks at a time. Yeah. It's hell. And we had a lot of fun, too, you know. But, you know, there was a lot of struggling moments. It just walks a line that, like, it's, it's a line that really no other band in metal or whatever you call it, heavy music, whatever rock music, has walked in that kind of way. So you, you f it feels like people take themselves too seriously. Yeah, we didn't. Well, the stuff you know you think we're joking about, we're actually serious about. Yeah, the stuff that we're serious about, we're actually joking about. Usually, <laughs> we're not vampires from Brooklyn. Even though you know you guys got all these, you know, you want us to be part of your uh, vampire club? <laughs> we're not. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not allergic to the sun, and you know I don't drink blood vodka. <laughs> yeah, Peter, Peter had his teeth filed, you know. Vampire cause club. Because you, you, you thought it was funny. You, know, you thought it would be funny. You know, you know, that was the part of the band that was kind of, you know, tongue in cheek. And um, he used to break, he used to grind his teeth a lot. He used to break his fangs all the time. He's called, Cutty, come to my room. I broke one of my fangs. You gotta help me find it. Oh. Uh -huh. go to his room with clear, crazy glue, you know. <laughs> Oh wait, I think this is it. <laughs> no, it's, it might be another, some crack from last night. This is it! <laughs> no, glue him back in his mouth. Yeah, what do you do? Stick him oh, back like in there? Yeah, we used to glue him, I used to glue him right back. With like super glue or something? Yeah, or? super glue. Jeez. How long does that stay what? on? Yeah. <laughs> it works. What does that last for like a day or something? Like, no, no, it works. It sticks in yeah. there. So and that, so what you're saying there is kind of like things that maybe appear in retrospect a certain way really weren't that way in terms of like the, that, the aesthetic you know, right. and, and the image you know or the whatever there was a camp it. element to the band Absolutely. that was added purposely you know but underneath the camp was the reality this is definitely one of the realities <laughs> dark underneath. it's like darkness wrapped in like camp. A, yeah. in camp and that's what's great that's what people love about it i think and connect with about it though i think that's what people are able to identify with Exactly. And you match that yeah, with such uh, a strong like uh, visual, you know, presence. Also with Peter, um, he was very in tune to exposing the folly of humanity. That's why um, Devo was one of his favorite bands of all time. Hmm. Because they exposed the complete folly of humanity. Yeah. So that was definitely um, a very um, embedded thing 
what he what he wanted to portray, what he wanted you know people to understand. We make it fun of humanity. You know, it's a good way to peel back the layers on it without it having to be. It can be dark without <clears throat> it being constantly beating you in the face for being so dark. You know, because that's like more like reality. That's yeah. more like real life. It's yeah. like you laugh about stuff that you it was broken think. up with stupidity because we're, yeah. we're also assholes. You know, we're idiots, you know, <laughs> dumb assholes from, from Brooklyn. We were jokers. We were joking around all day. We spent most of the day laughing. Then you know, you'll have to day of crying. After dark. <laughs> yeah. oh, so, and that's pretty much to me what type of means. You know, you laugh for one minute, cry in the next. The tragic comedy. My God, this song is awful. <laughs> it's illustrated well, I was saying in the, the documentary, the After Dark or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen that in many years. So. It's awesome. But I feel like it, again, it walks the line perfect. Because it's, it's, you talk about the band, but it's really just dudes who are friends fucking around who are also in this band that's like serious but it's not serious but it's serious. but they take it but you obviously approach it very seriously in terms of playing and working oh, hard and hard. thinking yeah. you work hard and you're thinking deeply clearly about this insanely layered like borderline symphony of music that's on every record but then it's just also dudes like pouring each other on each other's dicks and stuff like that <laughs> so it's like the perfect it's that line you know, here we are here. You, know, you couldn't like, you know, you couldn't live in that all the time. Like, you know, no. like, to be like that serious or like, you know, like when you were working on music and then the other part of it is the opposite end. To be absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. Yeah. And to I, be able to laugh at yourself the entire time. Yeah. Oh, I can't put it that <laughs> way, right? Let's leave this on we display. Can, we can be free. <laughs> Maybe like side. Mm -hmm. Diagonal. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>